is Wednesday the 12th. I am starting this review and uh, Friday's test, I'm going through each section. We're going to review today and tomorrow. Here we go. So, in section one, the first section, write each ratio as a fraction in simplest form and explain. Today, I'm not worried about the explaining. We're just going to be happy with the numbers. Okay. With the little wordage, but I'm not worried about total explanations. Now, so the first section, we have to know what simplest form means. Simplest form is a fraction. Now, what I always say is first, write what they give you. And maybe it'll, it'll kind of like spark your brain on what to do with it. So they told me on number one, ten girls to a class of 25 total students. Okay, well it's a fraction of 10 over 25. And they want me to simplify 10 over 25. What goes into 10 and 25? 5. So I'm dividing by 5. So my new number on top is 2. And my new number on bottom is 5. So 2 over 5. Give me one word at least to explain that. Uh -huh. Watch in just a second when I get down to that number 7. And it'll all be the same word. Okay? Then come up here like, and watch me because it'll help you. Okay, I just want to get a different color pen because sometimes the black doesn't show up. Okay, so my new fraction divided by 5 is 2 girls to 5 students. Okay, everybody get on that one. Now, you do want to ask yourself one last question. Is 2 fifths in simplest form? No. Can anything else go into the 2 and the 5? No. No. So you are good. You're kind of, that's where you want to stop. Okay. Let's do number 2 now. It says 12 golden retrievers to 8 poodles. Oops. Okay. What goes into a 12 and an 8? 2. Four. 2. Okay. If we do 2, we get 6 and 4. So 4, okay, if I do 4, I get 3 and 4. No, 4 goes 3, 4 goes 2. I can tell it's like 5th period, I'm starting to fall apart. Okay, now my question before I write words next to it, is a 3 over 2 in simplest form? Okay, but listen, in ratios, I'm glad you said that. In ratios, you don't want mixed numbers, like 1 and a half. You just want like a top and a bottom. Well, if you do two though, you're going to get six fourths. So does six fourths simplify again? So let me show you. Yeah. Okay. All, I just want you to see this. You're not wrong if you're getting six fourths. Watch real quick. If you do 12 over 8, and all you see is divide by 2. Listen, you're fine. Don't stress. Listen, you got 6 and you got 4. It's just not in simplest form. So 6 and 4 simplify again by 2 to get the 3 and the 2. As long as you end with a 3 and a 2, and you tell me three is for golden retrievers and two is for poodles. It doesn't matter if it takes you 20 steps to get there. That's fine. Okay, <coughs> let's do one more. On number three here, it says six roses are in a bouquet and 21 out of 21 flowers. Three goes into both, yes, so it's two roses to every seven flowers. Okay, now, okay, so Jose, get with me on this part, bud, because this is the part you're asking about. Okay, on the next section, yes, I'm going to leave you the other ones. I'm going to the next section. I am begging you to go with me. Do not keep working this thing. You can go back in a little bit and do the other ones. Okay. On this section, it says, 
Write each ratio as a unit rate. Unit rate. Okay. Unit rate is the key word there. Meaning, how much is one? Okay. Anytime you see unit rate, they want you to tell me how much is one of that. Okay. So let's look at this first one. I'm going to take 372 letters that this kid or guy can text and they can text it in six minutes. Well, because of unit rate, I know what I'm supposed to do. They want to know how many letters can I do in one minute. Okay, by what? 372 divided by six, right. So it is 62 letters per minute. Okay, so notice something. If you're not sure how I got it, you're thinking 6 divided by 6 is 1. So now do that up top. 372 divided by 6 gives you that number. Does that help a little bit? Yeah? Okay, so let's do another one. On number 8, it says that... It is six dollars and sixty-two cents for two pounds of tomatoes. Okay, but they want to know a unit rate, which is basically just how much is one pound of tomatoes. So six point six two divided by two, three point thirty one. Unit rate. How much is one? Okay. I'm going to do number nine now. Any questions so far? Okay. 17.25 for five yards of fabric. So they want to know how much is one yard of fabric? Three point forty-five. Okay, I just, I just don't have a calculator right here. I divided, so you're dividing to get that other number. How much is one unit rate? And you'll notice on this side, I got that one on every one of those things. Okay. Now, the next part is what I want you to listen to me on. Even my friends who made perfect scores. On the last test, on this section, I was overly nice. Some of you, I gave it to you anyway. But you really didn't have the right thing. Okay. This is where we have to, add, we have to figure out if they're equal or not. And then we would write a sentence like, yes, unit rates are the same. Or we would write, no, unit rates are different. Well, the problem is you guys weren't telling me unit rates. You might simplify one fraction and the other one has a one on the bottom. To prove to me that two ratios are the same, they got it in the same. Same on the top and the bottom, okay? So I'm, I'm kind of like re-explaining this of what it should look like right now. Here we go. So they do want us to determine, it's kind of like a new section here, Woo. each pair of ratios. The key is equivalent. I'm making a little equal signs. Okay. Here we go. So the first one, let's say we're at one school, and it is eight out of ten boys um, play a sport. So these play a sport out of total kids. Okay. Well, the problem is you can't compare that school to this school because this school says 25 boys play a sport out of 30 boys. Well, that's a total. Sorry, I should have put total. 
then here is what I'm talking about. If you simplify and they both came to the same number, then you could do that. But if I simplified this and got four fifths, and I simplified this, I would get 5 sixths, and they're not the same fraction. If they're not the same fraction, then I got to find a unit rate. I have to. So what I mean by that is, over here, I'm going to find out how much is 1. And it looks weird, like 1 total. Okay, so... 10 divided by 10 is 1. 8 divided by 10 is? 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Okay, so what that is saying, it's not even a whole boy. It's kind of like an arm and a leg. Okay? So at this school, one arm and one leg play a sport compared to all the kids. Now let's look over here because this school had 30 total kids. But for 30, I need to turn it to a 1. So 25 divided by 30 is 0.83333, repeating. Guys, this person is like arm, leg, and fingers. This is different than this guy. This is 0.8. This is 0.83. Are they equal? No. Here's why, though. The reason they're not equal is unit rates are different or not the same. And the only way, like you can't guess at some fractions and say, yeah, I think they're not equal. The reason when you write that sentence, okay, when you write that sentence, and I'm kind of highlighting for a silly reason, when you tell me unit rates are different or not the same, I need you to show me right here unit rates. This is how you're proving to me that they're different. If you really want to think about money, because most of y'all understand money better than anything else, this is like 80 cents and this is 83 cents. Is 83 cents the same as 80 cents? No. No. That's why they're not the same. Does that kind of help a little bit? A little bit? A little bit? Okay, so let's do another one. Okay, at this thing, they're talking about tickets. I keep saying movie tickets. I don't know. Okay, so at this place, it is $16 for two tickets. Okay, and I'm just kind of leaving it hanging. And at this other place down the street, it's $40 for five tickets. And they want to know if they're equal or not. We cannot compare them the way they are. we got to find out how much is one ticket. Can't just guess. So, at this place, one ticket is $8. Okay. At this place, one ticket is $8. So are they equal? Yes. yes. And you proved it to me by using unit rate. Unit rates are the same. Some of you, all it is is some of you simplified them on the test. And as long as you end up with the right numbers, you're okay. But if you make sure you do one on all these equality ones, you will get the right answer for sure. Okay. Let's go to the back. I'm going to flip it over. Hint, hint. If you will stick with me, it will help. Okay, for today, I'm kind of skipping the explanation parts, only because of time's sake. Here we go. These are the ones with the ratio tables. Okay, so they're on a field trip or whatever. They need two adults or two chaperones, 
for 25 students. Well, what if they need, what if they bring 225 students? Yes, 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 yes. So we could bring it down to one. We could kind of do like a little guessing game, like 25 times what would give me 225? Nine. Times nine, okay, and just double check it, like 25. Don't ever use everybody else's math. Just kind of check it. Is 225. So 2 times 9 is 18. So they would need 18 chaperones for 225 students. You're good on that one. We would normally write an explanation, but I'm shortening it. Here we go. Next one. Okay, you already see it. 9 times 3 is 27. So 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, on the next one. Okay, here's the thing though. Some of you see the 2.5, and you can jump on it and you're good. But I do want to show you what if you don't see that. Okay, so watch. Take these, and what I'm going to call, spread them out a little bit, if you need to. 5 over 40, but I'm going to leave me like an empty box in the middle, and I'm going to show you why. If you know that five CDs are $40, yeah, this is dollar bills. Okay. Can we find out how much one is? Yes. Would you think about it? What if I put a unit rate of one right there? How much is one CD? $2. So think about it. Five is 40 $10. $10. So 40 divided by 5 is 40 divided by 5 is 8. Okay, so it is $8 for one CD. Ah, so times 2 gives you the 16. Listen, you need other methods if there's not cute multiplication tables that work. Unit rate is the one to resort back to. Okay. Now, the last part is what we did last night. Get with me. Especially you guys, since only seven of you did your homework. Here we go. Yes, I just told your parents. Um, here we go. So, a class survey showed that eight out of 25 students had plans to travel over spring break. How many students out of 400 students would you expect to be traveling over spring break? Some of you haven't looked at your paper yet, so you don't know what I'm doing. Here we go. My ratio, my original ratio is 8 out of 25. So, the top number I'm going to make are the kids that travel out of like total kids. Eight travel out of 25 total. And it's kind of like, like maybe I'm comparing this in my classroom. And someone says, well, Miss Donahue, how many kids would travel in the whole school? So if I changed it to, wasn't it 400? There it is, 400. It would be a total on the bottom. So how many quarters are in four dollars? Sixteen. Sixteen. So twenty-five times sixteen is four hundred. Is four hundred. So eight times sixteen is one twenty-eight. So one hundred and twenty-eight kids would travel out of four hundred. I'm just doing numbers today. If you'll at least give me travel in total, I'm good. Let's do one more. It says, the world's fastest insect is a dragonfly, which can fly 36 miles per hour. At this rate, 
How long would it take a dragonfly to travel 54 miles? Now, miles to hours. Miles to hours. Okay, and down here it says that this dragonfly does 36 miles in one hour. Well, what if this guy decided to fly 54 miles? How'd you get it? Because this is a weird one. Okay, 54 divided by 36 is 1.5. So, <coughs> doing 1.5. Here's my problem, though. Not everybody sees that, what I call backwards math, that division thing. Is there, this is just a hint from a kid earlier today that honestly, like I was like, yay, somebody gets it. What if you don't see that? Is there a common number between a 36 and a 54? What is it? Two. You can do two. You can do two. I was just thinking multiplication tables. You could do four. Oh, you couldn't do four because it wouldn't go into 54. Twelve. Nine. Whoa. Wait a minute. Twelve you can't do because it would be 50 something. 56. Um, nine. Nine is mine. Like I, Somebody said 18 earlier. That's fine. But nine would work. But you can do two. Okay. So, just... Or three. Three would... Uh, yeah, three would work. Yes. So, what I keep saying is, if nothing else, see if you can kind of bounce around these stepping stones like from 36 to a nine. 36 divided by four is not. So, 1 divided by 4 is 0. 0.25. Okay. But 9 to get to 54 is times 6. So, 0. 0.25 times 6 is... 1.5. 1.5. 1 1.5 either way. You could find unit rate. You could find out, like, it's just odd because they gave you the one. Right. That's the weird part. That's why a lot of kids, even though they got the 1.5, they were still questioning themselves and saying, do I really have this right? Like, yes. Uh huh. Ah. Yes. 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 Kelly exercises four days a week. How many days will pass before she exercises sixteen times? So it's kind of like her exercise days. are over the total days of a week. And they're kind of assuming you know that number. Okay, so she exercises four days out of how many total days a week? Seven. Seven. That's that part that they're assuming by sixth grade, you know. Okay, now they're trying to change the four from four times to 16 times four. So seven times four is, okay, 28. And I just realized something. When I, when I went to write 28, is it 28 days or 28 weeks? 28 days. Be careful. And, it, and that is the number, meaning how many days will pass like it's 28 days. But they could have switched the question and said, how many weeks will pass? Okay. 
Uh huh. So if they asked how many weeks, it would be four weeks. Okay. Uh huh. Number four. Oh, I love this one. Yes. On number four on the front. Please look at it because I'm trying to help you out. It says, we're back to simplifying fractions. It says seven striped ties out of ten solid ties. And they want me to simplify that. Does it simplify? Yes. Seven and ten? No. no, nothing simplifies it. So it's just the same thing over. Seven, that's that is simple as it can get. Seven striped ties to ten solid ties. That is that is it. That's as good as it gets. Okay? So this is what I want you to do. Take the rest of this time. Just trying to get the numbers and a short word. Don't short like I want at least one word, people. Okay? I mean overly nice. You can at least give me the one or two words. Okay?